Appreciate you tuning in here on Talking Tunes. We're going to do here a vinyl. Appreciate you tuning in here on Talking Tunes. Uh, here we have a vinyl update. Uh, first, I want to go ahead and uh, give a shout out to Supra Wes. If you don't already subscribe to his channel, uh, or if you do, uh, giving him a shout out uh, to say hey. And uh, just going to be giving shout outs along the way to folks that uh, helped inspire me to start my own channel. So uh, give a hello to Super Wes. And if you haven't uh, checked out his channel, be sure to do so. Uh, you can find uh, a link to his uh, under the Talkin' Tunes channel page, um, as well as uh, in the description here. Uh, but let's get to it a vinyl update and uh, some old, some new. And first off, uh, the big one here. Uh, this is the new one uh, from the Flaming Lips called the Terror and it's a double gate fold as you'll see the artwork differs a little bit uh, from the CD release um, obviously it's got this uh, metallic kind of uh, shine to it as opposed to it's similar to the CD release but uh, yeah it can, it's a double gate fold uh, and it contains a, a vinyl only uh, remix track it's uh, Dan Deacon uh, remixing to my understanding what it is is it's a remix of uh, the entire album the entire album is like condensed into one track and then Dan Deacon remixed it it's on side D and uh, we have the uh, vinyl are in sleeves and everything we got the sleeves um, it's not colored vinyl or anything. It's just some heavy-duty uh, 180 gram. Uh, this is on Bella Union, the UK uh, bundle pack or whatever. Um, it was put out. And uh, with it contains a, a few uh, extra things that uh, I think are very cool with vinyl releases. Uh, first off, it contains the CD. comes with the CD not on... Not with the bonus track, though. Again, the bonus track was vinyl only. And uh, this, oddly enough, was the first single off the album, even though it's a non-album track. This is Sun Blows Up Today. Uh, the 7-inch came with it. And uh, they used it in a commercial and everything. It's a bonus track on here. Um, I think it's on the digital release, too, as a bonus track. But uh, here it is on 7-inch with the side B, All You Need Is Love. Uh, so that uh, comes together with the vinyl CD there. And... Uh, Flamey Lips, the Terror, new stuff from the Lips, and a uh, big Flaming Lips fan, a Flaming Lips collector, uh, so all kinds of Flaming Lips stuff will be had. Um, okay, next up, uh, this is a band called the Moose Bush, A-M-U-S-E hyphen B-O-U-C-H-E, Moose Bush. This is a band out of Connecticut, and uh, it's it's. Uh, some jazz stuff that they released, uh, four tracks, and um, for me, my, upon my first listen, I felt a little post-rock vibe to it, even though you listen to it and you'll say there's no post-rock here, but uh, that's kind of a little bit of the vibe I, I heard from it initially, and this cover is really cool, um, I don't know how much detail you'd be able to see, but it, it has, um, almost like they're almost hand-painted, um, each of the uh, the covers here. Um, you got this these raised bumps from the paint and stuff like that you can see there um, so it's pretty cool it's you know not not two dimensional not 3d or anything by any means but um, you know it ha adds an extra little touch to it on vinyl so moose boosh uh, think about doing a, vi uh, a review of that uh, hopefully here soon uh, this next one here is from a New Jersey a post rock indie rock band called athletics and uh, this uh, is their uh, why Aren't I Home release, uh, Deep Elm originally released it, and In the Clouds put it out on vinyl. Now the reason I have two here is uh, because there's a, a thing with the paint that they did. You can see on In the Clouds website, they actually talk about this. Um, actually, they have a video about the procedure and everything. If you were to imprint your hand on it, it'll um, keep that print in the paint, some special paint they used. And the reason I have two, again, um, they uh, sent the one and it didn't work very well, so they uh, sent another sleeve. They're kind enough to do that uh, at In the Clouds. And actually, this is pretty cool. Um, maybe it's a even makes it a little more rare. 
Um, it doesn't have athletics written on the uh, binding there, so um, one does and one doesn't. But uh, anyway, uh, Indie Post Rock from New Jersey. And uh, these are a couple of uh, duplicates. Um, maybe they'll get a little more, more turntable time now. Um, this is a screamo band now defunct called the Avenging Disco Godfathers of Soul. Their first release called This Is The Invasion and uh, features such such tracks as, uh, oh, even Hot Salsa Night is on here. Um, and uh, How to Throw a Hot Dog Down a Hallway, Disco Bloodbath, and Guns N' Roses, uh, The Avenging Disco Godfathers of Soul. That's This Is The Invasion. Um, and then this one here is their second release. Um, the Ultimate in Authenticity and Musical Usefulness. It was released on the Electric Human Project. And uh, somewhere in the arteries is maybe the Caribbean Knife Fight. <laughs> uh, is among the uh, funny titles there. Um, some experimental screamo that they really are and turned out to be a little more experimental than uh, some of the standard screamo bands. Uh, this band is another Screamo release from Birthday Boys. This is kind of a one and done band. Um, didn't put out much material. Um, this next one I'm real excited about. Uh, this is from a band called Houses. A uh, release called A Quiet Darkness. And uh, put out in Downtown Records. Um, they put out a teaser. A couple, well, uh, at the beginning of the year, like a teaser single EP release. Um, of the first two songs on the album, and these were set to be on this particular release. But when they released them, they released them in reverse order. So the Beauty Surrounds was first, and then Beginnings was last. So that's kind of how I knew them um, coming in. But they switched it for the release. They put Beginnings first and the Beauty Surrounds. Um, I'm still on the fence about how I feel about that. I think the Beauty Surrounds makes a very good opener. Um, we'll see how it pans out as far as the whole album goes. But uh, excited about this one, Houses. Quiet Darkness uh, could be uh, among the top ten of the year so far. Uh, this is uh, Maudlin of the Well, and they're uh, my Fruit Psycho Bells, a seed combustible release. Uh, of course, uh, originally released on Dark Symphonies uh, way back in the late 90s, reissued on CD, and then uh, now issued on vinyl. And uh, long out of print, uh, the CDs are... Um, okay, Max Webster here, uh, Universal Juveniles from Canada. Again, some of these obviously new, some uh, not so new, <laughs> but uh, included in the update. Uh, this is another Screamo release. This is a split from uh, The Minus Tide and Turn Around Norman. Uh, haven't heard much else from Turn Around Norman, but I uh, have the other Minus Tide material. And um, this was released on a label called Mountain CIA. Uh, the Minus Tide stuff uh, I do enjoy. And uh, I like their other albums too. They're not uh, together anymore, unfortunately. But uh, they were out of Kentucky. Uh, this next one here is uh, Owen's Seaside EP out on Polyvinyl Records. This is not the Record Store Day issue. Uh, this is the, actually the first issue, first pressing. And it contains a... Uh, uh, live version of In the Morning Before Work on here. Um, and uh, that track actually uh, I had my hand in the, the production of, the live uh, track. Um, so very cool. Uh, me and a number of other people involved in that particular track from Owen. And uh, cool that it appeared on... Uh, the song actually did appear, the live version appeared on one of Polyvinyl's compilations. Um, but then Owen ended up using that particular track as well uh, for his release. Uh, here is another Screamo band, They and the Children. Thoughts on Becoming a Ghost. Shock Value Records put this out. And uh, the 12 inches, that's what we have there. And I want to uh, throw these in uh, to the update. A uh, couple of 7 inches here. Uh, this one was put out by Draft House Films. It's actually uh, part of a film soundtrack from Dragon Sound. Uh, one of the... Uh, cheesy type of action movies uh, released in the late 80s uh, exploitation type of film um, but you can actually there's actually a full soundtrack that you can get with this too um, but this seven inch contains two tracks friends and against the ninja uh, that were featured in the film which is like um, 
I guess the film's about uh, a band that fights these ninjas or whatever. Um, but uh, pretty goofy stuff. And this is, you know, some cheesy um, 80s uh, type of uh, tunes um, from Dragon Sound on 7-inch. Oh, the, the film's called Miami Connection, by the way. Um, this is uh, from a band called Each Other, Traces to Nowhere and Sit Still. It's a, just a single release, and it's hand numbered uh, 22 out of 500 there. Uh, and this last one is from a band out of Chicago. I came across them randomly, as I do a lot of bands, and I was intrigued by the album name, I'm sorry, the uh, artist name. Stay Ahead of the Weather is the name of the group, and this was released on No Sleep Records. Uh, it's called We Better Get Going If We're Gonna. It features five tracks at ten minutes. And um, I'm a strong five out of five on this release. I really, really love it. It's uh, indie rock um, type of uh, type of Midwest emo uh, feel to it as well. Um, that Chicago type of sound is is found in, in uh, this release as the band from Chicago. Um, but again, five songs, ten minutes. Um, if there's any other 10-minute release, uh, this would be my favorite of them. Uh, again, strong 5 out of 5 on this. I really do enjoy it. Looking forward to a full length they might put out. Um, stay ahead of the weather. Maybe the full length will be 20 minutes long. What do you say, Cookie? 20 minutes long? Cookie's here uh, talking talking tunes with us, aren't you? Well, that's it. Uh, uh, hopefully we'll get into some reviews here soon, some more updates as they come along. And I appreciate you tuning in here on Talking Tunes. Again, shout out to Super Wes, and we'll shout out to some more folks as, uh, as it comes along. I uh, appreciate you again tuning in. We hope you'll uh, tune in again next time here on Talking Tunes.